welcome to high school football. Football, I already messed it up. First thing, high school basketball here. Playoff time in the uh, 1B division of the state uh, high school basketball. We are at Sound Christian Academy tonight, this afternoon, to see a game between the Puget Sound Adventist Academy and the Sound Christian Lions. And uh, this is a, the first round of the SeaTac 1B playoffs. Both of these teams coming in to tonight's game um, ready to play this. It's actually a, a mini bracket here in the 1B where the top four seeds in league will play each other in a mini tournament to determine seeding into the district playoffs for the first four seeds coming out of the SeaTac 1B league. That's what this game is all about here tonight. Sound Christian comes in as the number two seed in league. Puget Sound of Venice comes in as the number three seed in league. The, these two teams will face off. And in the other side of the bracket, Muckleshoot will be playing Evergreen Lutheran. And then the winners of these two games will play each other, and the losers of these two games will play each other to determine the top four teams coming out of the SeaTac 2B at 1B uh, league. And uh, so that's why we are here. There's one minute uh, here before we get into the actual game festivities. We'll have coaches and meeting with the officials and uh, players are gathered around their coaches right now getting their defensive assignments and offensive assignments. And then after that, we will have the national anthem and then uh, a prayer. And then we'll get our game underway here in this very important playoff game for both teams. Looking forward to a great competition here. I'll tell you more about the, each of the teams as we get into the broadcast and uh, just how they got here. It's a, actually a Friday afternoon. It's going to be a 3 o'clock game, which is a little unusual. It was uh, originally scheduled for a 7 o'clock game. It was moved to 3 o'clock for Sabbath reasons on the part of the Adventist school. And so we're playing this game at 3 o'clock this afternoon on a Friday. We are about to get going here. The warm-up clock has reached zero. And we begin with the normal pregame festivities here at Sound Christian Academy in South Tacoma. So here at South Christ at Sound Christian Academy, the, um, the court is named the Coach Beth Wing Court in honor of Beth Wing, who is the uh, girls coach and the athletic director here for several years, moved on to a similar position in Spokane to be closer to family members. We're going to have the national anthem here. In just a couple minutes, there are some reminders of sportsmanship on the part of both the teams and also the fans. And uh, recognizing the skills of the officials, appreciate them being out here doing the work that they do here to make these high school basketball games and a, a number of other uh, levels of basketball possible because they are willing to spend their time actually officiating these games. So they are honored by name, which is kind of a nice thing they do here at Sound Christian. And even a recognition here for the students at Bates Technical College that are doing this production that you are hopefully enjoying so far. It will be a lot more enjoyable when we actually get into the game activities. Now for the National Anthem.
And now for a brief prayer. All right, pregame festivities out of the way. And now we get to look forward to the starting lineups for each of the teams. They will announce the visitor Puget Sound Shark players first. Aiden Lee, number two, is a freshman starting guard. Number zero, the other starting guard for the Sharks. Matthew Lee is uh, a senior starter, number 10. So several seniors here on the team. Now starting lineups for the home team, the Sound Christian Lions. I did not have a roster for the Sharks, which is why I couldn't give you detailed information on those players. I do have a roster for Sound Christian Academy. They have an actually fairly young team. They have no seniors on their team. And they have uh, some actually fairly young players, including an eighth grader who plays quite a bit of time for them. Starting at guard for the Lions, number 13, Tona Rassard. He is a freshman. Starting at the other guard position is Noah Pitts, number 11. Noah is sophomore this year. And number two, Makai Russo. Kai is a freshman. Sorry, he's a sophomore. Kona is a freshman. And one of the older players on the team is junior Michael Kessel, number 12. And starting in center is also another junior, David Nestler, number 14. David's had a really good season. Been a little bit under the weather here the last couple days, from what I understand. Kind of a cool tradition here at Sound Christian for the players to actually run around and uh, slap the uh, hands of the fans who gather around the end of the court. Almost ready to get underway here. Sound Christian Academy versus the Puget Sound Adventist Sharks from Kirkland, by the way. So jumping up at center, number 25, Vasily Bensta, and David Messler, number 14 for the Lions. Rough check out, make sure everything's ready to go. Everybody knows where they're going. There's the tip, controlled by Sound Christian. Makai gets the ball over to Kona Rousseau. So both Rousseau brothers are on the court here at the same time. Over to Kessel and back to pitch in the corner, drives the baseline. And the ball is uh, out of bounds. Apparently Noah just lost control as he was driving the baseline. Shark basketball. Full court press here by the Lions. Lee is controlling the ball and the coach immediately calls a timeout. So 16 seconds into the game, the Sharks take their first timeout. I don't know if they weren't ready for that uh, full court press or if the coach just saw something he didn't like, but they're talking about that now. Sound Christian breaking the huddle right away. It is a 30 second timeout, so it will be pretty quick. Here's the warning buzzer to get back on the floor. Sound Christian ready to go. And the Sharks just coming out of their huddle now. So Matthew Lee takes the ball out of bounds, comes into 
Aiden Lee. Back to Matthew over to Aiden. Trap over in the corner. And a slick pass over to number zero. Daniel Foten who puts in the lay-in. And the Sharks come out in their own press. Kona Masso is trapped, gets it over to Messler. And ball's kicked out of bounds by number 20, Andrew Bokov. Lion basketball on their own baseline. 17 seconds left on the shot clock, 7-19 in the first quarter. 2-0 in favor of the Sharks at this point. Makai Russo dribbles around the defense and puts up about an eight-footer that drops in, ties the score up at two. Again, this full court press by the Lions. Almost a turnover there, but he got lucky and it goes over to another player. Number 20 steps back for a three, misses that off the front of the rim. Kona Rousseau with the rebound. Man-to-man -man pressure applied by Foten. Kona brings it up, gets a screen from Messler. Now to his brother Mackay, over to Pitts. Into the high post, out to Mackay who takes a three and drops that. So two for two here for Mackay Rousseau to start this game, 5-2 in favor of the Lions. A near turnover there, but the Sharks handle it. Foten dribbling on top, now over to 25. And a steal now by Mackay. Lee tried to throw it through his arms and could not do it. Ball goes over to Kona, Rousseau to Kessel. Back to Kona, drives the middle, stops, kicks it back out to Michael at the top of the key, who also hits a three. 8-2 in favor of the sound Christian Lions on a couple of threes. Lee stops and takes a three, goes off the rim. Messler had the rebound, knocked away from him, and Mackay was so picks it up. Over to Kona. So 2-3 defense being played by the Sharks. Kona out on the top, goes into the foul line, pulls it back, swings it over to Mackay. Back over to Kona. Eight seconds on the shot clock now. Kona dribbling over to Mackay. He takes another three. Misses that one. Uh, picked up by Lee. Matthew Lee, I believe. Over to Aiden Lee in the corner. Misses that. Rebound by Bensta. Puts it up and in. Make sure I got that right. Vasily Bensta got the rebound and made the two-pointer. Long pass down by... Kona to Noah Pitts who lays it in. That was a nice find by Kona Rousseau and the assist on the lay-in for Noah. A trap and a steal by Makai back over to Noah. He goes up again for another lay-in. Puts it up left-handed and in. 12-4 in favor of Sound Christian jumping out to a quick lead here. Bensta over to Lee. He's guarded by Kona over to Aiden Lee. Matthew Lee takes a three, nobody there, but he misses it, and Noah Pitts gets a rebound. Gets it over to Kona Rousseau to bring it up court. Again, man-to-man -man pressure by number zero, Daniel Foten. Drops back into a 2-3 zone now. Kona attacks the rim, nice pass underneath to Michael, who hits a reverse. That was like a, had to hold my breath on that one. That did go down. 14-4 now in favor of Sound Christian. Lee drives the floor. Over to number 20 for a three, misses that. Noah Pitts with the rebound. Number 20 is Andrew Brokov, missed that three-pointer. Noah brings the ball up, fakes it left, goes right to Kona. Kona looks for the middle, not there. Back to uh, Michael Castle. Gets it back down to Noah in the corner, back up to Michael, into the middle to David Messler. Nothing there. Kona has a little bit of a window and they're gonna uh, have a shot clock violation as the sharp defense is pretty stout that time sound christian wasn't quite sure what they wanted to do it looks like and the sharks were able to run the shot clock out on them three minutes and 22 seconds left on the first quarter sound christian ahead 14 to 4 in this first round of the SeaTac 1b playoff league uh, playoff game aiden goes to the basket misses the reverse couldn't get the ball to stick off the rim 
And Noah's going to be called for traveling. Noah Pitts had a wide open path to the basket, picked the ball up, and then had to get rid of it, it looked like. So he tried to pass it back to a trailing player, but by that time he'd taken too many steps. Shark basketball on the turnover. Out to Foten, he drives the court. Back out to Bensta, cut off by Kona. Now to Aiden Lee, who rattles around and actually pops out somehow. I'm not how, sure how that happened, but no good. Rebound by Messler. Ball in the hand of Pitts now, back to Kona Rousseau. Into the high post to David Messler. Bangs that one off the backboard and rim, and the rebound comes out to number 20, Andrew Bokov. He gives over to Aiden Lee. 228 first quarter, 14-4 in favor of Sam Christian. Drives to the basket. He's going to be, he's going to draw the foul. Michael Kessel reaches in, gets him on the arm. That is the first team foul on the Sam Christian Lions and obviously the first personal foul for Michael Kessel. Substitution for the Lions. Here comes Michael Kaufman replacing Noah Pitts. Michael Kaufman's an eighth grader. Ball comes into Lee, back into the corner to Bokov. Looks and studies the three and puts it up and in. Not a lot of pressure there. Nobody hustled over to pick him up. Kaufman handling the ball now. He gets trapped on the top. Passes it over to Makai Rousseau. Knocked out of bounds by number 25, Vasily Bensta. Lion basketball on the side. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Two minutes and six seconds in the first quarter. Comes out to Kona Rousseau. Over to Kaufman. Back to Rousseau. Into Mike. Uh, uh, Mestro. And then back out to Kona Rousseau, who hits another two. Sorry, that was Micah Casso. Micah Rousseau. I'm getting them all mixed up here. 17 to 7 now in favor of the Lions. Lee goes right down the middle. This is a lay in. Michael Kessel gets the rebound. Over to Kona to bring the ball up court. Over to Kaufman, and around to Kessel, in the middle to Messler, who goes up for a shot and is fouled. Referee says he's fouled in the act of shooting. That foul on number two, Aiden Lee for the Sharks. That's their first personal foul as well. And again, his first, it's a first team foul and his first personal foul. Messler for, at the line for two. Sinks the first one. Makes the score 18 to seven in favor of the Lions. Second one is also good. Couple nice clean free throws there for David Messler. Sound Christian back in their, in their press. A near steal by Mackay Rousseau. Over to 20, Bokov in the corner, misses that one. Bensta with the rebound over to Aiden Lee. He's cut off, but he takes a jumper that's no good. David Messer high up to get that rebound. Over to Kona. Kona Rousseau bringing the ball up. Sharks dropping back into the 2-3 defense. Kona with a spin move. Nothing there. Swings it over to Kaufman. Kaufman looking for an opening. Nothing there. Out to uh, Makai, who puts up a three. Misses that one. Big rebound by David Messler. Back to Makai. Over to Kaufman. Drives the basket, and it is no good, but he is fouled on the drive. Fouls on number 25, Vasily Bensta. Michael Kaufman goes to the line for two. Lions ahead 19 to seven here, 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Kaufman an excellent free throw shooter. Puts the first one in. So Sam Christian is doing really well at the line so far this afternoon. That raises the score to 20 to seven here in the first quarter in favor of Sound Christian. Second shot up and good. 21-7, 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Foten with the ball over to Lee, over to the other Lee. Makai Rousseau guarding him. Here comes Bensta and Bokov takes the three. Misses that one, Connor Rousseau with the rebound. 23 seconds left in the quarter. See if they work it just for one shot here or if they just go for the bucket. Rousseau fakes over to 
Ball's tipped, Cone gets it back, puts it up in the lane, misses it, he gets his rebound, passes back to David Messer who cannot get the rebound to go. And Kessel, Kessel gets it, can I get it to go? And, oh, they had all sorts of opportunities and they put it in after the shot clock expires. So at the end of the first quarter, 21-7 in favor of Sound Christian. We'll be right back. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. When a here for the start of the second quarter, again, Sound Christian leading in the game 21 to 7 after a very solid first quarter, applying full court pressure uh, against the Sharks. And actually, the Sharks applied some pressure up back. Here we go, second quarter. Lee with the ball, Aiden Lee gets it into Bensta, over to Matt. Lee drives to the basket. He's going to get you know, draw a foul. That foul will be on. I'll tell you here in a moment when I see the referee. Number 11, that's Noah Pitts for the, for the uh, Sound Christian Lions. Having some trouble get it in. And he tried to bounce it off of Noah Pitts and was standing out of bounds when he actually regained possession of the ball. So it is a turnover and the ball goes to the Lions. The Sharks have now applied a much more intense full court press here. And they're having, Lions are having some problem getting the ball in. Comes into Kaufman. Now over to Rousseau. He's gonna be trapped there just as he comes across. Goes to Messler over to the corner to Noah Pitts who drives to the basket, tries to get it out to Messler. Picks it up, gets it out to Rousseau. Kind of messy there. Now Noah takes a shot from three, misses it, but Mackay's coming in from the opposite side, picks up the rebound, puts it in, and draws a foul. I believe that foul is going to be again on number 25. We'll see here. No, it's not. It's on number 10. That would be on Matthew Lee with the foul, but that does put Mackay at the line after making the basket for one shot. It's up and good. I think the Lions are perfect from the line so far. 24-7 in favor of Sound Christian. There's another steal on that uh, pressure defense. Over to Michael Kaufman, pulls it back, passes it over to Kona. So they didn't get an easy one off of it. Mackay comes out, puts up the three, misses that. And Kona battling for the rebound, but could not get it. Picked up by the Sharks. Over to Bokov. There's a screen, he goes the other way. Kicks it out. And he's called for traveling on the pass. I think everybody thought he was going to go for the shot, including him, and then decided it wasn't going to work, and so he tried to pass that off. Again, a full court press here by the Sharks. They put a lot of people up in the in their uh, the back court there for the Lions. Substitution number 21 is coming in for the Sharks. 21 is Michael Zhang. Comes in for Bokov. Cohen on a long court down pass. Long court down, long pass down court, and Noah misses a lay in. And the Sharks get the rebound. It's a great find by Kona, just missed that shot. A three by Matthew Lee is off, and a foul on the rebound against the Sharks against number 21, Michael Zhang. It will be 
Sound Christian basketball on the baseline. Sharks pull their press back now, so there's no pressure on the Lions bringing the ball up court this time. 6.34 left in the first quarter, 24-7 in favor of Sound Christian. Kuna drives to the basket. He gets blocked, Michael, uh, I'm sorry, uh, David Messler gets the carom and puts it back in, 4-2, 26-7 now. Aiden Lee with the ball. Over to Bensa, now Lee and back to Bensa. Tries to drive, Michael Huffman playing defense on him. Kona with the ball. And a block by David Messler. Noah Pitts handling now for the Lions. Back to Kona Rousseau. Lions will set up their offense. And it's a three. It's missed by Kona Rousseau. And ben Bensa is just driving around people and he puts it up and misses it. Comes off though to the Sharks. He gets the three, misses that. Comes off to the Sharks. Lee has it. Back out to Bensa again for three. Nobody on him. Rattles out. And Kona Rousseau gets the rebound. Bensa was wide open on that last three. Michael takes a look over to Noah who drives to the basket. That shot is blocked by Bensa. Over to Mackay, misses a three. And Matthew Lee gets the rebound. A lot of action, but not a lot of scoring going on right now. Matthew Lee driving against Kona Rousseau. Ball's knocked out of bounds. It will be Shark basketball under their own basket. Bokov coming back in, as is Michael Kessel coming in for Makai Rousseau. Michael Zhang also is coming out for the Sharks. And it uh, looks like Sam Christian has called a timeout here. We get the indication from the referee for sure. It is their call. It's a 30 second timeout, so we're gonna stick with it right here. Five minutes and three seconds left in the first half. Sound Christian in the lead, 26 to seven, playing excellent defense. And, um, and actually doing okay against that press. It's, the Sharks are having a harder time, I think, with the Sound Christian press. And do not seem very settled when they get into the front court. So right now, I think that it looks like Sound Christian's in a little bit better control than um, Puget Sound Adventist, but that can always change. So you got to keep on playing hard on both sides. Sound Christian sets, it up, sets up in a 2-3 defense on this inbounds play. The Sharks spread the court. Man in the corner over there, over to Bokov. He gets the ball back off the inbounds play. Swings it across, down to the corner to Lee. Drives, kicks it back out. And there's Aiden Lee. Looks at the three, ball's deflected out of bounds by Michael Kaufman on an excellent defensive play there. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Let's see what the Sharks can do in there. Four seconds, comes out to Aiden Lee, takes a long three and almost puts it in, but David Messer takes the rebound, hands off to Kona Rousseau. Shark basketball. Kona takes it to the baseline to the block and actually puts in a little bank shot there to increase this lead to 21 points at 28 to 7. I think that uh, the Sharks have gone into a man-to-man -man defense on that last possession and now there's a turnover as Lee passes it and the Vasily Bensta can't catch up with it. Substitution for the Sharks, number 15. Sam Mesfin coming in for Aiden Lee. Let's see what they're doing defensively here. Kona Rousseau with the ball, drives right by the player over to Michael Coffin, puts up a three, misses it, but Rousseau gets a rebound. Dribbles around, takes a look over to Mike, to, uh, excuse me, over to David Messler, who is tied up on a held ball. It is possession sound Christian. Their ball on the baseline. Sound Christian spread out on the baseline. David Messer gets the inbounds and cannot put it down. A little easy shot that he misses there. Michael Coffin steps in front of the Shark, deep, uh, shark player. Nice defense, but a good pass underneath by the Sharks. And Bokov gets an easy lay-in. 
They lost him on the baseline, and Vasily Bensta found him, gave a fake to get David Messler up off his feet, and he put it in. Kona drives to that same place, gives a little fake, and two Sharks go up uh, against him. The foul is called on number 25, Vasily Bensta. That's his second foul, and the team's fifth foul, sending Kona Rousseau to the line for two, 28 to nine, in favor of the Sound Christian Lions. Rousseau puts the first shot in. Again, I think they are perfect at the line, and I probably shouldn't mention that. He misses that one, but David Messer gets the rebound. Out to Michael Kaufman at the three, and he drops that. 32 to nine now in favor of Sound Christian. Bokoff with the ball, he's trapped. Back to Matthew Lee, he's trapped just over the half court line. There's Vasily Bensta over to Bokoff on the three point line. He walks to the key, tries to pass it off, but he's called for traveling again. And he, I don't think agrees with that call. Kona Rousseau handling up top, stops, goes to the elbow, takes a shot, no good. The rebound out to the Sharks, Daniel Foten. Here's Bensta on the drive, and he goes all the way to the basket and scores a two. 32-11, two minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half. Michael Kaufman now up on top, drives to the basket, passes back. Pitts was not there, but he goes and gets it. Back to Coffin in the corner. The Pitts, he stops and takes a shot at the elbow, and that rattles in and out. Bensta with the rebound over to Bokov. Changes gears, gives a little juke step. Michael Kaufman tries to steal it, and Michael Kessel does steal it. Gives it to Kona, passes up to Noah Pitts, who backs out. They're gonna set their offense up. Gets it back to Kona. Out to Michael. Michael Coffin, a foul line jumper, and he drops out, 34 to 11. 23 point lead for the Sound Christian Lions. Matthew Lee is trapped in the backcourt. Foten trying to get across half court line, just makes it in before the 10 seconds, but then Conor Rousseau gets the steal. He goes to the basket with a spin move, kicks it back out to Noah Pitts, who trips and falls, and then the ball is taken out of there by number 15, who's on the drive, and it's saved by Michael Kaufman, but out of bounds. Actually, not a bad play by Kaufman there. Sam Messman lost control of that, and Michael saved it, but not at a point, not at a place where the Sharks could get it and do any damage. So Shark basketball on the side. Substitutions back in. Both the Lee boys are in on the Shark side, and Makai Rousseau replaces uh, Noah Pitts, for the Lions, Bokov with the ball over to Mes Meskin. And the Sharks lost track of the shot clock on that possession. And it expires for a turnover. Sound Christian basketball. Again, good defense. I think maybe the Sharks were not aware of the fact that uh, when it went out of bounds, the shot clock didn't reset. And so they didn't have the full 30 to work with. Conor Rousseau with the ball, coming over half court line, leads on him, he goes right by him, down the middle, misses a lay-in, kind of a, under, a scoop under lay-in that goes off. He had a clear pass to the basket. Aiden Lee goes right around Kona this time and puts it up off the bottom of the board, back to Kona. Kona goes to the basket again, he fakes it and tries to pass inside to David Messler. It's off his fingertips and out of bounds. A little bit of timing, rhythm issue there between those two. They're trying to get it inside to Messler. Matthew Lee over to Bokov in the corner. He looks, stops, dribbles around. Three guys on him. There's a shot off the side of the backboard. Rebounded by David Messler. 16 seconds now left in the first half. They will probably play for one shot here, you would think. Ahead 34 to 11. Kona over to Michael Kessel, stops and takes a three from the top of the key, and he drops that. 
37 to 11. The Lions are shooting really, really well. At the end of the first half, it's a great half for the Sound Christian Lions leading the Puget Sound Adventist Sharks 37 to 11 on quite a display of basketball. We'll be right back after these messages. We go years thinking we've seen about everything on this journey. Until we get here. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. My name is Amal Dahi. I am in the core production in broadcasting and video production. I came to the broadcasting video production because of the field experience for the technical side of it. I came into Bates after the military service. I did four years of active duty and I really wanted to get into learning how to operate camera and do directing for video work. And I found out about Bates through a lot of internet searching and I thought it would be perfect for me. I chose the BVP program because I'm very interested in the television and film industry. As a kid, I knew that that was something that I wanted to do for a long time. So when I noticed that Bates offered the program, it was a no-brainer for me. What I enjoy about this program is just really like all the people I get to work with and all the different productions that we get to do. You know, one week we might be doing a, you know, in the field football game, you know, for high school football, and that's a lot of fun. The next week we might be doing college volleyball. Some weeks we might be in our own studio producing, you know, something that another student has come up with. You know, you get a lot of variety in here, and I just really enjoy that experience. Man, the students, man. The students, the production, going to the football games, basketball games, having the on-hands experience, man. But the best thing about it is being able to have that camaraderie and teamwork with the students and go out to different uh, production sites. That's my thing that I love about Bates, man. Getting to go to the Tacoma Dome for the Holiday Food and Gift Festival. I, I got to go to so many places that I never even thought of being able to go to. And maybe in some places I wasn't supposed to. Bates has given me so many options and it teaches you so much practical experience that you'll have a, an idea of where you want to go. In the first quarter, I started with production and I've been learning more and more. I've learned about so many things that I didn't even know were out there, how to be a technical director. That was one of my favorite positions when I got here. I saw this board and I was like, I wanna know how to do that. So that's quickly become one of my favorite things here. My name is Roland Robinson. I'm an instructor in the broadcast and video production program at Bates Technical College. I want students to understand that this industry is really an engaging, exciting industry, broadcasting, video production, audio, the opportunities that they have to express themselves there, but also that there are jobs available, especially on the engineering side of things. We're just really inundated right now with organizations that need broadcast video engineers. So my name is Ken Whitco, and I am an instructor in the broadcast video production program. Really what I want students to take away from the program is the ability to be able to tell a story in a way that compels people, not only connects them emotionally, but it also also makes a student feel really good about what they've done and uh, they can feel proud of that, get a job, or, you know, be able to really land a job in the field of content creation. If you're looking to get into video production, video editing, audio editing, television, movies, radio, any of these kind of industries, I can't recommend this program enough. You'll learn so much in so little time. Bates Technical College. 
and uh, they're doing all of the camera work tonight, the switching uh, this afternoon, the switching, the directing, the uh, graphics, audio, they did all the setup, and after the game, they get to do all the teardown and pack up, and off they go. So for this basketball game, which is actually 32 minutes of action, which would take in clock time closer to maybe an hour and 15 minutes, something like that, our students are going to put in about a six hour day. So we were here at 11.30 this morning for our three o'clock game, and we'll be here for a little while afterwards once everybody's gone and the gym is nice and quiet again. We, they will still be here working away, uh, taking everything down. But that's part of what this uh, business is all about, of broadcasting video production, and that's why they're going to Bates to come learn that, and one of the many programs offered at Bates to uh, get people out into the, into the working world. So, doing a great job here tonight, and we're happy to be here to be able to bring this game to you between Sound Christian Academy and the Puget Sound Adventist Academy from uh, Kirkland, the Sharks. By the way, they play in the Shark Tank, which I kind of think is pretty amusing. Uh, you go up to, to their gym and they have a big shark painted on the side of the wall and it looks kind of like a big aquarium. <laughs> kind of kind of unique. But um, they're coming down uh, as a result of, of um, having a, actually a pretty good season in league. They're they only had one uh, loss going into a game on Wednesday night with uh, Muckleshoot Tribal School. They ended up losing that game, which put them into a third place position at the end of the season here for the SeaTac 2B. Sound Christian, on the other hand, has had a great season. They're 17 and three, I believe, and uh, in, in league uh, and, and for their season. And then a nine, nine and one in the league and they lost to Muckleshoot uh, late last week, and so they came into this game with a 9-1 league record. Muckleshoot in first place with a 10-0 league record. Um, Puget Sound and Ventus played Muckleshoot on Wednesday night and lost to them by just one point. But they're here tonight in this little mini playoff. We're going to take another quick break, and we'll be right back after that. Let's go see your room. what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I used to drive an ambulance as an EMT, and I've always tried to be a safe driver. If people knew what I know, lives could be saved. In my car, if I see a truck or bus taking a turn, I know to take my time. When big vehicles turn right, they may swing wide to make the turn. If you try to sneak in, well, it's a lesson you'd rather not learn the hard way. When trucks and buses turn, let's you and I wait. It's our roads, it's our safety. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Getting ready for the second half here in this playoff game between the Puget Sound Adventist Sharks and the 
Sound Christian Lions here in South Tacoma, the home of the Sound Christian Lions. Think back to the first half here. Is the Sound Christian had a really excellent first half in this game. Shot the ball really well, played very effective defense, and uh, Puget Sound and, and seemed very comfortable with what they were doing for the most part. Puget Sound seemed a little bit less comfortable, didn't deal particularly well with the press, and didn't seem to be able to run uh, much of an offense very easily, at least on their own end of the floor. So what adjustments have been made? We will find out here in the next 16 minutes and see if it's enough to get the Sharks back in this game. Shark basketball, as we start the third quarter, they trail in the game 37 to 11. Matthew Aiden Lee actually starts with the ball. There's a two-pointer from the top of the key. Tapped out on the miss. Gets back out to Aiden Lee. This time he drives to the basket. And Bokov takes a look. Now he moves to the basket. Nothing there. It's an outside shot by Vasily Bensta. It rattles out. Comes out to the Lions. Kona Rousseau with the ball. He drives to the basket. It comes up short. Rebound Bensta. Out to Foten. The ball is knocked away from behind by Kona Rousseau. But goes out of bounds. It will be Shark basketball on the baseline. 37-11. Seven minutes and 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Bokov handling the out-of-bounds pass. Finds man out on top. That's Foten. He stops and takes a three. That goes off. Big rebound by David Messler. He gets tied up by Aiden Lee. No hand on the ball, but he had his arm wrapped around David Messler's arm for a foul. That's his second foul, first team foul here in the second half for the Sharks. Sound Christian basketball. Hand off to Mackay. Over to Pitts and Kessel. Into David. He drops it back out on top to Pitts. He looks, but no. Now over to Mackay. Into David. Not quite ready for it. He puts it up and he gets a shove on the shot. I think this is going to be on Bensta. It is. That will be his third foul, and he doesn't like that foul. He was kind of asking the ref about that. David Messler goes to the line for two shots on the foul. First one is up and good. Second one is also up and good. So David, who is a 61 percenter at the line for the year, Puts both of those in, 39-11 now, a 28-point lead for the Sharks. Foten with the ball, he's being hounded by the Lions. Bensta crosses it over back up to the top of the key to Matthew Lee. Pass goes down low, it's kicked out of bounds by Michael Kessel. It'll be the Shark basketball on their baseline. 6.27 left in the third quarter. Again, Bokov handling the pass. Goes into the corner. Matthew Lee drives. He gets stopped there by Kessel. Out of Aiden Lee. Aiden Lee puts up a bit of a shot. It's off the rim. And Makai Rousseau goes high to get the rebound over to Noah Pitts. He pulls up, working against Bokov. And he's going to turn that one over. There was a battle for it. And Puget, uh, <laughs> Sound Christian comes up with it. Goes into David, a nice little soft inside shot. Puts it down as Bensta was running back down court after battling for that ball earlier. Lee hustles over the line, gets it over to Aiden Lee. Here's Bensta going down the middle. David Messer challenges him. The shot is out. Rebound to Kona Re Rousseau. Gets a screen from David, goes around it. Out to Mackay and back over to Kessel. Noah Pitts takes a elbow jumper and he puts that one in. 43 to 11, a 32 point lead now for the Sound Christian Lions. This, these two teams met earlier in the year. It was actually the Sharks' first game of the year. I think the 
Lyons had played a couple by then. Aiden Lee puts a three in. 43-14. In that first game, Sound Christian won by 31 points. Nice pass underneath by Kona Rousseau to David Messer for the little lay-in. 45-14. There's a turnover by Lee. Noah Pitts goes up for the lay-in, and he is challenged, but there is a foul called on the play. I believe that's Bensta's fourth foul. It is on number 25, Vasily Bensta. That's his fourth foul. That's not good for the Sharks. Bensta is one of their, is probably, I think most people would say, their top player. And he's going to have to sit here halfway through the third quarter. His team is down 45 to 14. It's a tough trip for the shark so far. Pits at the line, puts the first one in. Substitutions coming in now. Bensta will take a seat, so will Aiden Lee. Dan Foten in, Matthew Lee. Uh, Michael Zhang is in, and also Sam Mess, the number 15, comes onto the court. Noah Pitts puts in the free throw, 47-14, in favor of Sound Christian Bokov, handling the ball now. It's deflected, but picked up by Matthew Lee. Foten gets it, passes over to Bokov. He's going to, I thought he might set up for a three, back up to Foten. The Lions re reacting really well defensively. That one went down the middle, though, and I think David Messler is going to be called for a foul this time. It is number 14 on the foul. That will be his first foul. Four minutes and nine seconds left in the third quarter. And Matthew Lee goes to the line for two. 47-14 in favor of Sound Christian. Lee misses the first one. He has one more coming. Fouled in the act of shooting as he drove down the lane there on David Messler. Lee's second shot is up and it's good. 47-15, 32-point lead now for Sound Christian. Pass down to the corner to Mackay. He gets it off. It's no good, but he is fouled on the shot. So he's just sitting out there in the corner. Daniel Fulton uh, came over to try to block that shot and knocked Makai Rousseau over. So Makai's going to go to the line for three. First one is good. As a team, Sound Christian is shooting 54% from the foul line. So today, as he makes his second one, they are way above that. Aiden Lee comes back in, this time for Nesvin. One more shot for Mackay. And he puts that one in too, so he earns the three-point play the hard way by making three in a row from the foul line. But the Lions are shooting the ball really, really well. There's a steal by Michael Kessel, who makes the lay-in. 52 to 15. And we have a timeout coming here for the Puget Sound Shark. This is a full timeout, so they will sit down for a minute, get off their feet, get a little bit of rest, and have a chance to talk maybe a little bit about what's going on in the game. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, Chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Okay. Lions are gathered around their coach and uh, discussing what's going right. Sharks are gathered around their coach discussing what's going wrong, maybe what we can do to fix it. Uh, they're in a little bit of hurt, though. Their top player, as I said earlier, Vasily Bensta, 
on the bench with four fouls here in the half, just halfway through the third quarter. So that's going to make it just that much harder for them to climb out of this hole. Shark basketball, three minutes and 48 seconds left in the third quarter. 52-15 in favor of Sound Christian. Full court press, really hard for the Sharks to get the ball over the half court line. It is out of bounds off of the Sound Christian defender. Shark basketball, Bokop's gonna handle that. Michael Kaufman comes in replacing Michael Kessel for the Lions. Foten with the ball, looking inside, nothing there. Over to Matthew Lee, drives to the basket. Gets there, but there's going to be a foul called, a blocking foul called on the drive. Basket was no good. Foul is on number two, Makai Rousseau. That is his first personal foul. And second team foul on the Lions. Out of bounds is uh, before the shot there. Lee brings it in, looking for somebody again. The defense by the by the uh, Lions has been outstanding. Just the Sharks just don't know where to go with it. There they found an opportunity out to Bokov. He puts a three up and he makes that off of the pass out of the middle. I believe that was Foten that made that pass out. One of the few things that the coach has been really, um, un has not, has been unhappy with is what I'm trying to say for the Lions. Connor Rousseau out, drives to the basket now, and he's going to be fouled on the play. And a surprise look, to say the least, on the part of Aiden Lee, who believes that he did not foul him, got all ball. Referee says differently, though. He calls a foul on Aiden Lee, puts Kona Rousseau at the line for two shots as he was in the act of shooting. Kona misses the first. And misses the second. He is a 41% free throw shooter on the season. That's one weakness in his game. Bokov over to Zhang, out to Aiden Lee. A little bit of a hop there. Perfectly legal while dribbling. Bokov looking for someone to pass to. Michael Kaufman, it's on him. He gets bowled over. And we have a, another timeout, this time a 30 second timeout by the Puget Sound Sharks. Puget Sound Adventist Sharks for this 30 second timeout. 52 18, two minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Sound Christian Academy. Puget Sound Adventist Academy, first round of the SeaTac 1B playoffs. The winner of this game will face the winner of the other half of this little mini tournament uh, between the top four seeds in the SeaTac 1B league. The other teams in the league are gonna play a more extensive bracket to determine the fifth and sixth. I, I'm not sure how many Teams come out of this league, go to district. I know it's at least five, maybe six, depending on the year. So the other teams will play for the other one or two positions in their own little bracket. Fake by Matthew Lee, drives it into the middle and all the way to the basket for a relatively easy two. 42, 52 to 20 now. Kona goes racing to the basket. Bokov steps in front of him to try to stop him. He's called for the blocking foul. Not happy about that. One of his teammates he thought should have uh, cut off that drive earlier so it didn't fall onto him. Kona Rousseau going to the line for two. That's the first foul on Bokov. Kona's first shot is off the back rim and out. One more for Kona Rousseau. And that one is up and good. So he finally hits a free throw there. Brings the score to 53 to 20. Bokov taking a little bit more of the burden here for the Sharks. Ball is poked away by Michael Coppin out of bounds. It will be Puget Sound basketball. 12 seconds left on the clock. The Lions extend their defense a little bit, try to go underneath, and that pass is stolen by Noah Pitts. Noah bringing the ball up court, kicks it out to Mackay Rousseau, 
And that ball gets stuck between the rim and the backboard. That will be tapped <laughs> loose. Yeah, it goes in. I don't know if they count it or not. Yeah, probably not. That will be Shark basketball on, on their own baseline. Nope, that is a possession call, just like a held ball. So possession arrow actually was pointing in the other direction, so it will be sound Christian basketball. Substitution for the Sharks. Aiden Lee coming in for Mesfin, number 15. Sam Mesfin takes a seat. Lions on the baseline. Ball comes into Michael, uh, to David Messler. Keep on getting him mis mixed up with Michael Kessel. Michael Kaufman, Mackay, Kona Rousseau. Kona gives a fake, and he's going to be called for traveling. He could not get that pass off before he landed back on the floor. He was trying to give it to David Messler on the pass inside. Sal Christian is going to take a 30-second timeout. Coach is not entirely happy with what he's seen right now, so he's going to take a timeout and tell them about that. Gives a chance for the Sharks also to get a little bit of a drink, a little bit of a rest. Come out maybe refocused a little bit, trailing 53 to 20 to the Lions. It will be Shark basketball on the baseline there. Sound Christian still in a full court press. They've been pressing the whole game. Matthew Lee over to Bokoff. Way down into the corner to Aiden Lee. Drives the baseline. Passes around. Michael Zheng misses the short shot. Michael Kaufman with the rebound. And he goes over to Noah Pitts, who gets it out to Kona Rousseau. Mackay finds an opening to the foul line, puts it up, misses it. Kona Rousseau gets a rebound. Back to Pitts. And a drive to the basket. Missed an open lay-in, and the rebound is off of David Messler out of bounds. I think Kona was telling the coach, you got to hit my arm. Apparently the referee didn't see it or did not, uh, did not uh, agree with that. Anyway, no call. And Matthew Lee is struggling with uh, the controlling the basketball. He gets loose again. Bokov straightens up and puts a three up. That's off and Messler gets a rebound. 35 seconds left in the third quarter, 53-20 in favor of Sound Christian. The Lions just moving the ball. Noah stops, takes a jumper. That's way off, and the ball is again knocked out of bounds off of David Messler's fingertips. Shark basketball. There's Michael Zhang putting it in for two from close range. 53 to 22, just under four seconds left. Kona drives all the way to the basket. This time he puts it in as time expires in the third quarter. 55-22 in favor of the Lions. We'll be right back. So, uh, entering into the final eight minutes of the game, it hasn't been um, very, very much of a game, actually. It's been very lopsided, almost from the get-go, as the, as the Lions came out strong. We will be right back now after this. When a child in your life requires intensive care, their health fragile, their condition complex, Certified Acute Care Pediatric and Neonatal Nurse Practitioners will give you the information and support you need to make the best decisions for your child while providing the critical care your child needs. With advanced specialized education, these nurse practitioners are trained to diagnose and manage serious life-threatening conditions and complex emergencies. 
They're dedicated to caring for the sickest infants and children. They are trained to make a difference. When life hands you its worst, certified acute care pediatric and neonatal nurse practitioners are at their best. Trained to be different. Critically ill children benefit from their knowledge. Learn why at certifiednurses.org. When you look at the number of disasters in the U.S., chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, Okay, we are back. The uh, fourth quarter has started. Where it's uh, about 40 seconds into the quarter. Sound Christian has scored a lay-in. The Sharks have missed a couple. And we have now an offensive foul on number 10, Matthew Lee. That's his second personal foul in the game. Michael Kaufman had a spectacular lay-in that he just made as we were coming at a break there, I don't know if you actually got a chance to see that. And I also will also say that the Lions have substituted now with Avon Greenwood and Zach McKnight in the game. Michael Kaufman hitting a three. 60 to 22 in favor of the Lions now. Bowton looking for something, nothing there. Over to Aiden Lee, down to Bokoff. Mm, looks at a three, decides no. Aiden picks up the loose ball. Out to Matthew Lee, and Bokov is going to set up and take the three as people just walked away from him. 60 to 25, 6.34 to go in the fourth quarter. Kona handling the ball, attacks the basket, kicks it back out to David Messler, who hits a nice little two-pointer. 62 to 25, Fulton with the ball. Shark basketball, Lions playing a 2-3 zone defense there. Bokov looks at a three again, but decides not to take that. Kicks it out to Matthew Lee. Back to Bokov. Drives to the basket. And he puts that one off the backboard and in. Good two-point shot by Bokov. 62 to 27 in favor of Sound Christian. Kick out to Michael Kaufman. Misses a three. Bokov with the rebound. McKnight guarding Matthew Lee out there. Into the middle, Foten. Puts a two-pointer off the backboard there, a little turnaround jumper. Contested, but he still put that in. Nice shot by him. Greenwood now with the ball over to Nessler. Kaufman, they just continue to move the ball. Kaufman Thought he had somebody coming down the middle, but there was nobody there. It's stolen, but now Aiden Lee, Matthew Lee loses that ball. Back to the Lions. Kaufman now handling over to Kona in the corner. Drives to the basket again. Kicks it over to David Messler. Attacks the basket. Turns and puts up another little touch shot from the middle there. He's really good at that. 64-29 in favor of the Lions. Aiden Lee turns and throws the ball out of bounds. And I think he's a little bit disappointed in himself. As he kind of walks away from that one. He's going to come and I think uh, take a seat on the bench. I didn't see who came in for him, but uh, he has been taken out of the game by the coach and Town Christian basketball. Kona drives all the way to the basket again off that screen on the top of the key there. And now a steal by Michael Kaufman who puts the ball in and is fouled on the play. Fouls on number 10, Matthew Lee, his third personal foul and the eighth team foul on the Sharks. Michael Kaufman at the line to make a traditional three-point play, hopefully. He's a very good foul shooter, as I said. He puts it down, and that makes the score 69-29. to 29. 
should move us into a running clock with the 40-point lead. We should also see, looks like some other players coming off the bench for the Lions as Cooper Reinmuth has checked in. Four minutes and 18 seconds left in the game. It's been a pretty convincing win on the part of the Sound Christian Lions here. They have two team fouls in the quarter. The Sharks have eight, so they are in the, they are in the bonus. Anytime there's a foul, the Lions will go to the line. So everything has just gone the Lions' way. Played an excellent, excellent game here on their home court at Sound Christian Academy. Again, want to let you know that the production for, of this game has been entirely handled by the students at Bates Technical College Broadcasting Video Production Program. And it's fun to see them actually come out and put together a program that uh, you have a chance to watch. We get to share that with you. Peter Sound Basketball. Puget Sound Adventist Academy basketball. Four minutes and 15 seconds left in the, in the game. Foten handles it out on top. Over to Bokov. Aven Greenwood guarding him. Out of the corner is Foten, and he puts a three down from the corner. Good shot by Daniel Foten. Kona over to Kaufman over to Greenwood, misses a three. Rebound by Zach McKnight. Gets it over to Cooper Reinwood. Takes it back into Zach. Takes a nice little jumper. That's a good shot for him. Two-pointer. 71 to 32. In favor of the Lions. Michael Kaufman hassling Foten out on top. Ball goes down to number 25. He's back in the game. He tosses it to Zheng, but that's knocked away and picked up by the Lions. Kona over to Green Greenwood. Over to Cooper Reimuth. Cooper drives to the basket. Ball is tapped away from the backside. Out of bounds. It will be Sound Christian basketball. And coming in for the Lions, replacing Kona Rousseau, is number 20, Sam Hunt. Sound Christian basketball on their baseline. Ball comes into Hunt, out to Kaufman. Kicks out to Reinmuth, over to Hunt. Even Greenwood now, and to Cooper Reinmuth. Michael Kaufman puts it up, it's no good, and that is shot clock violation, so. Good movement of the ball, but gotta be more aware of that shot clock. You want to have an opportunity at least to get that shot off. Foten with the ball. Over to Bokov. Michael Kaufman in front of him. Man cutting through the middle. Is. Misses the shot. Sound. Uh, uh, Sound gets the rebound. Bokov with the three. Misses that one. Sam Hunt does not get the rebound. Instead, Bensta gets it. Misses a shot, and Zach McKnight comes up with a rebound. Coppin up to Sam Hunt, stops, puts it up, misses it. Rebound by Bokoff. Ryan Ruth is in front of him, and Michael Coppin comes up behind, taps out of bounds. One minute and 33 seconds left. Moses Stiver coming in now for Michael Kaufman. Shark basketball. On, under their, on their own baseline, under the basket. Bokoff sets a screen. Matthew Lee comes out, passes it over to Bensta. He's working against Cooper Reinmuth. Bokoff sets up for a three, and he hits that one. So he's hit a few of those out there, and they're just letting him stand out there and shoot those. Aben Greenland up to Moses Diver. Sam Hunt turns and puts it up, and... Puts that one down. That's almost like a no-look shot. Just turned and shot it, made it. 73 to, 50, 73 to 35. 40 seconds now left in the game. Starts moving the ball, looking for an opportunity to take a shot. 
Houghton over to Bokov. Back up on top. Lee gets inside, takes a little shot, and misses that. Sam Hunt with the rebound. And passes the ball over to Aben Greenwood. 13 seconds left. It looks like the Lions are going to run the clock out here and finish up what has been an excellent performance on the part of the Sound Christian Lions. Well done. Well played basketball game for the Lions. And they win this game. That puts them into the championship game of the SeaTac 1B League, which will be sometime next week. And they will play the winner of Muckleshoot and Evergreen Lutheran. Teams uh, shake hands in a show of sportsmanship here at the end of this game. And the Lions go thank their fans for being here. It's a very, very convincing performance on the part of the Sound Christian Lions. That'll wrap up our presentation of high school basketball between the Sound Christian Lions and the Puget Sound Adventist Sharks. Final score, 73 to 35 in favor of the Sound Christian Lions. Thanks for watching.